Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be showing you my favorite colorings on a light motion. So occasionally when I do like add my colorings on here, these are the ones I most typically use. Also, my a light motion looks a little bit different. That's because I'm in um, beta testing, but I'm not going to give away anything. So just don't. Yeah, anyways, let's just get started. So first things first, you're going to want to go on to color and light. And then you're going to want to add saturation and vibrance we're going to be using a lot of this for all like your like all the colorings because this is just the one that i most personally use because it always just increases the quality now since this photo is very weird and already colorful itself i turn the saturation up quite a bit just so you can see that it's there and it kind of lights up her skin makes it a little bit more contrasted and saturated now if you want you can turn up the vibrance but i'm only turn it up about to like 1.13 you know now I go on to color and light and I add on light glow. Now there's a lot of different types of glows that A Light Motion has added. Light glow is the one that I always use so I just highly recommend it. You can always change the color like if I wanted it to match her purple then I could change it to purple and yeah I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, You can adjust the settings any way you want. I personally like it the way it is. Now I'm gonna go back on to color and light and I'm going to add on rays. Now, we're not actually going to look like this. We're going to turn down the threshold a little bit. Actually, don't touch the threshold. My bad. We're going to turn down the intensity. That's what I meant to go for. Um, as you can see, it just adds a really nice kind of shine to the photo. So, yeah, this is the first coloring. Also, if you see it, like, lessens the quality. It doesn't. That's just the way it previews. Um, it's not actually going to save like that. Like, if I export it right now, which might take a couple seconds, so just bear with me but when i export it right now you're gonna see that it's not gonna do that weird little glitch thing that it does I, it was doing that when i was making colorings for my giveaway so yeah as you can see right here it does not do that with the photo and yeah also before we start on with this next coloring i wanted to um say that i would have added sharpen onto that one if i hadn't forgotten so for all of these i'm going to be adding sharpen on as well just because it gives it better quality so yeah so for this next one i'm going for kind of like a darker like gloomy effect i don't know so you're going to want to go on to effects and you want to go to color and light and you're going to want to add on dark glow right here you can adjust the settings any way you want i don't like too much diffusion but i like to know that it's there and you could always increase the threshold on it, you know? Um, I gotta fix that real quick. Okay, so like this right here. And then I like to add on, I go to proce procedural, and then I add in simple star fields. Also, I'm gonna have a preset for all of these right before the clip plays. So if you don't feel like making them, you can just use them. Hopefully it's gonna say you don't need a membership. Uh, no guarantees on that. I know there has to be a certain file size for it to not need a membership. Anyways. Um, for the simple star field, you're going to want to add two keyframes, one at the beginning of your edit and one at the end, and then you just zoom and scale, like, a little bit. I'm not going to zoom mine in too much because I don't have, like, a video going on, so it just looks like this. And also, if you wanted it a little bit more of that darker effect, you could go on to Matte Masking Key and select Vignette right here, and, yeah, there's this. You can turn it up, you can turn it down any way you want, and I'm just going to go ahead and export it right now it'll take a couple seconds so basically like i said that weird little glitch that just happened that's not actually going to be there so you don't have to worry about that if you were worried about it and yeah this is the ending this specific coloring like right here i would like to categorize as like a baddie or badass coloring for like that type of edit so what you want to do is you want to go on to color and light like as we have been doing this is mostly the only category you're going to use and you want to select saturation and vibrance i don't know what it is about adding saturation to your edits it just makes it look that much nicer and it just increases the quality like even on cap cut it does this so i always use saturation and contrast on every edit i use it's amazing now go ahead go back onto color and light and select rgb split it should be right here at, like around at the bottom and you want to turn the strength to 0 0.2 and you can also change the angle but i personally just like it like this i might make mine 0 0.1 instead i like it to be very subtle but you can still tell that it's there also can we just talk about how good olivia looks in this photo the hair the nails the makeup everything all right anyways so there's this and then if you wanted to you could add on exposure to make it a bit brighter or you can even add on light glow 
light glow literally makes everything look so much better i really love it and then i'm just going to go to the blur category and add on my sharpen once again this is optional you don't have to add it on if you don't want to i just like the look of it once it is done and um like i said before i will have a preset for this in um not the description box right before the clip starts so if you wanted to use this coloring you can and yeah and that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below any tutorial requests that you guys may have. And yeah, I'm sorry for not posting for like a week. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus because social media and it's just really <laughs> stressing me out lately. And it's been better to stay off of it. And like for me and my sanity, that's what I've been having to do. And honestly, it's been great. So, you know, if you ever need to take a break from social media, it can do wonders for your mental health and even just your physical health as well. It can get you up and moving more. It's very weird, but I love it. Um, so I highly recommend taking a break if you feel you need one. And yeah, just thank you guys again. I love you guys. Bye.